everybody doing out there first of all my name is Kenneth Bird I'm the creator of crystal rich technology screens using smart technology gain now let's talk about real reality all right now like I said if you're watching demonstrations the majority of those demonstrations are done in the dark and just tells you that's where you are going to be at now we do demonstrations that are different from everybody else and like I said I challenge you to go out on the internet look around and see how many people are doing demonstrations such like us now I'm gonna show you the difference between a fake demonstration and a real demonstration usually when somebody's doing a demonstration on a sample sheet this big this is what they do when they claim the screen has ambient light rejection when it comes to window light they're going to take the screen and they're going to stick it here now the reason why they stick it here is because you see this wall right here this is going to stop any light from hitting the screen it might get a little light but that's basically about it now judging by the size of the screen the lights going to bypass the screen all right it's not going to take too much light in like I said the image should look just like a TV and it should not have a kind of brown discoloration around the screen or faded look to it and that tells you right there that the technology does not work I don't know where in the world somebody got the idea because the screen shows a little bit of an image is ambient light projection now I'm gonna show you how we do our demonstrations I'm going to take my sample sheet and I'm going to stick it right up here in the window. I'm going to show you where it sits in the window. Now, I want you to look at this. This is where our screen is sitting in the window. It's in right direct light line with the window. Blinds are fully open. As you can see, I don't have a curtain here because usually I have a curtain here blocking any light hitting the screen. We have no curtains. Blinds are open and the light is sitting directly on the screen. Now, if you look at my larger screen, which is 178 inches, 235.1, the length of this screen, even when the light comes out, and even though the screen is sitting there behind where the wall is at, it's still going to hit the screen. That's why you have all this light moving back and forth. All right, now we're going to add the lighting on, condensed lighting, because I have one here right over top where the screen is. And I'm going to show you with my measuring tape. There's my measuring tape right there. I'm going to show you that our projector isn't sitting right on top of the screen because that's another trick that they do. All right, so. 13 feet back, ViewSonic 1080p projector, and we have plenty of light cascading on the screen, including the light we have in our environment. Now this just shows you that if you watch demonstrations, and it doesn't make any difference if they're doing 4K, 1080p, 720p, if they're doing it in the dark, well the screen's going to look good in the dark. The hard part is trying to get a screen to react with the lights on, but even harder to get the screen to react when there's window light coming in because a lot of people say, hey, look, I got windows in my environment. I have lights in my environment. I have all this stuff going on, and I don't want to be in the dark. A lot of people don't want to be in the dark. They want to treat the living room like a living room and not like a GameStop or, <laughs> or, a, um, or a movie theater. It's not a dedicated theater. It's your living room. All right, so first let's remove this. This is fantastic for those of you who have sports bars and you have a lot of light coming in in your sports bar and you're worrying about the screen washing out. This is something you don't have to worry about. Now check this out. And this is sitting in the window. There's no curtains blocking any of the ambient light. Blinds are fully open. And as you can see right down here, the screen, no discoloration whatsoever. Now in back of it we have a silver, actually I'm sorry, the platinum slate, which is in back of another screen that has advanced technology. It has condensed lighting coming right down on top of the screen. Now we have a now part of the now mind you, this technology is part of the our nanotechnology. This right here is an uh, Eclipse Invisible Nano. We have a new screen color which I'll be testing today. And also, too, for customers have been asking me over and over again because this technology is designed for contract, licensed contract distributors that do business with us. But we do have a projection screen, a physical uh, uh, fiberglass or plexiglass projection screen coming out that's going to look just like this, but it's going to be much bigger. I got a special projector coming in to do that demonstration, and we got a special coating for it. All right, so come out of that real quick. Let's grab something nice, bright, and colorful. Because one of the things you have to worry about when you have window light hitting your screen is the screen fading or washing out. Now look at the silver screen here. Look at the um, invisible nano here. This is all nanotechnology. And those are the things you got to look for. You got to look for things in the video like projection screens blocking windows. 
uh, little bits of light peppered out through the environment. These are things they do to manipulate uh, the uh, demonstration. And I love it, man. I tell you, I got a lot of people who hate me. I do. They don't like what I do because we raise the bar. Nothing wrong with raising the bar. Just pushes you to design better technology, that's all. And when I first started out, I had my projector sitting on the floor. And I had somebody come in and say, well, you know, you're doing it wrong. Your projector's on the floor. It's supposed to be in line with your screen. And that's the reason why it's not a fair demonstration with the Elite Dark Star 9. And I said, well, look. If my screen's not having a problem, I don't know why the Dark Star 9 should be having a problem. Look how fantastic that looks right there from the door. Let's grab something else. Like I said, I'm not having a problem. My screen's not having a problem. It's some kind of environment. I don't know why you should be having that problem. This is what separates our technology from everybody else's. Because how we do our demonstrations. You don't see people doing demonstrations like this. They won't even have dare put a, a screen in the window. Not by the window, in the window. Won't even dare do it. Screen to wash out. Yet they get very angry about that because they can't beat the technology, so they got no choice but to hate on it. And you know, it's 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 when you're good at something, that's what you're gonna have to deal with. Everybody has to deal with that. But I can say the technology, and with this technology, just think about it. You can treat, literally, I mean, with our technology, you can automatically treat, nanotechnology, you can treat your, uh, your, your, your projection screen like a TV. The nano-invisible takes it much, much higher. discoloration anywhere on that screen right next to that window city night scene all right for my time runs out here I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge technology screens using smart technology game hope you enjoyed the video demonstration we do have a nano, invisible nano, coming out in a plexiglass form for our customers. That is coming. That is coming. I'll be doing the demonstration somewhere around the 6th of March. I said, hate it or love it, technology is good. Like I said, anyone out there designing screen paint, if your technology is that good, you should have no problem doing the exact same demonstration I'm doing right here. Put that screen right in the window. Especially the one I did with direct sunlight. That I would love to see somebody mimic that exact same demonstration. If you're curious what that looks like, check at the bottom of my post. I'll put that in there for you to check out. <laughs>